Scorpio, the song that's playing for you is Crushed Ice, and then the first card is The Fool. So now it's like you could be in a space and you might be getting out of your own way in whatever context or situation, topic, subject. You feel me? Whatever space we talking about. It's like you might have had hard feelings that you're getting over when it comes to someone, something, or somewhere. It don't even have to be relating to a person or a situation outside of you. It could just be when you thought about how you used to carry yourself in a certain type of way or how you used to express yourself in an environment or what you used to express yourself in, what you used to dabble in type of vibe. You getting over the emotions that that situation with family, with yourself, with an idea, with a habit, with a pattern you took upon yourself, you feel me? You getting over the feelings you developed over that because those were kind of blocking you from being what? In balance the way you need. Look, crushed ice, you getting over some hurt or hard feelings. Or somebody could be in a situation where it's like they, they're in a whole new mind about a space they shared with you. Or just when it comes to viewing or expressing or participating in the space with you. Look, you might have had a perspective or someone may have had a perspective about a space with you or the space with you. So if you're in a relationship, it's like your partner's changing how they perceive or see you. They don't see you the same way they used to see you type of vibe. You feel me? Or even when if it's crushed ice, then we could just be talking about they don't feel you the same way they used to feel you. There may be a new, it's like a new strike of passion or fire in you or in your relationship. Or in a relationship. Now relate, look, damn, the fool and the fool. Back to back. Yeah, I don't know what you in. You 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 in a new space, or you just in new period. Like you're not in the same nothing. You could be in the same space, but it's not the same you. When you see this, when you think about this, when you feel about this, and anything that comes after that is a different feeling. Because how you were feeling about it, how you were thinking about it, fucked everything up previously. This is the past. Look, the past made you weak. When it came to you feeling, seeing, thinking, and observing this. So now it's like you closed off to all that toxic mind that comes from you. Or a mind that comes from your world around you. And you taking a leap of faith in your own mind. In your own emotions. In your own truth. You feel me? In your own awareness. You're going to go based upon your observation. Your experience. Whether you got experience or not. You got the full back to back. Yes. It's like you just broke your limiter off in whatever, whatever space we talk about. You know we talk about. You know we talk about. Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, and look, son, now if it's you versus someone outside of you, then someone outside of you could have been lying to you. Or someone wasn't being honest with themselves and you may have been become aware of that. Or it's just... The way you you were moving, you weren't being honest with yourself. It's like you weren't honoring the emotions you knew you had or just your truth in general. The way you were walking wasn't reflecting how you were feeling spiritually. Because spiritually, it's like you're ready to go. You, you're ready to do it. You're ready to shift, make a change. Or just like a big bang in your life. You feel me? You're ready to experience. But how you were moving or how the mind or the thoughts you were harboring, because it's the queen of swords. So it don't have to, you could be dealing with a female or just another feminine energy. It doesn't have to be a female. It could be a feminine energy within a male. But it's like how you were seeing your own experience or how you were receiving a experience. You weren't receiving it with the lens or the truth that you knew you had. So it's like you were receiving it from some sort of dishonest or low energetic place. But now it's like you kind of jumped away from that. You're not, you're choosing to move away from that. You're no longer taking the chance in investing in any type of mind that kind of, look, limits how you feel about something. Because you know what it is. You know the abundance. Look, you know this your karma. You ain't, and you ain't caught up in your mind about that. You used to be, or someone outside of you, if you're dealing with someone, it's like someone could be watching you in this free energy and expressing yourself freely or communicating yourself in however which way you communicate yourself. And it's like someone feels a certain type of way. They may not be in a position where they could openly express that to you, but they so they just gonna be around you feeling a certain type of way because they know whatever they say can't stop you. You know what we talking about? 
Yeah, a lot. Someone might not feel so good about this new, this new you, this this leap, these, these risks, these chances you taking. You feel me? It's like it's almost like someone wants you to sit down type of vibe, but they know they can't tell you to sit down, so they just gonna watch you, and they gonna like it's like they sending you the fuck sit down, but they're not saying it type of vibe. You feel? You know what we talking about though. Or it's just a situation where, yeah, you could be taking charge. I was about to say, you could be moving away from some bullshit. It's a whole, it's a whole mess outside, Scorpio, and that's and you're moving away from that. You don't want no association, no affiliation, because you know if you were to get into that shit, not only would you take it, it would be real deep. You, you, as soon as you, you don't even stick your finger in it, and then you just get sucked into some shit. It's like, you, know, you don't want no parts. So look, you making the decision to move on. and it, Look, because I said, as soon as you get into some shit, you know... You know it's a whole lot of bullshit that come with that. You don't want no parts. Look, you're going to move away from that. You don't want no, no affiliation, no communication. You don't got shit to do with that. As a matter of fact, look, you say you're going to take charge and invest in this new idea, this new passion, or just this new feeling. You're going to invest in anything that don't feel like this. You open, Look, you open to any truth. Look, you done broke free, you done moved on, you took, you realized or you took something that you seen from a situation that had you, look, feeling different. Now you might have realized someone you was fucking with, you shouldn't have been fucking with. If it's like that, now you in that space, yeah, you, you a little more free now. Yeah, you still, that person still may be in your vicinity, whether they in arm's reach or you could just see them, you feel me? Y'all still work under the same roof, they just in a different department. But you know not to fuck with them, type of vibe. You feel me? You know, you know what? There's a there's there's a limit. This can go, type of vibe. When it comes to me expressing or emotionally investing in him, her, that, there, communicating a certain type of mind. You feel me? You are gonna keep it business, look, cause you know loving that. Look, you got a whole lot of love, and that shit could be a burden. So you gonna look? You gonna stay in the position you are regarding that? Whatever we talking about. Oh, now, some, if it's someone outside of you, again, because you moved on and you found love, whether that's love and a new idea, I'm telling you, it's a whole lot of passion, whole lot of fire. If y'all ain't fucking, you feel me? <laughs> like, let's keep it a buck. And I'm telling you, but it's, it's, it's that good fucking, though. It's that good sex. You feel me? Whatever we talking about. Yeah. Yeah, there's some, there's some nice shit. Someone feels salty, though, because you're taking a chance. It's like someone watching you find love. In whatever reality, whether if you're in a relationship, it's like your partner watching you invest in a hobby or a passion you got. And the way you expressing and investing your time in that, they feel some type of way. Because it's like not only is it putting you in that new energy where it's like you expressing new ideas, communicating and carrying yourself new. But it's like they watching you give all your emotions that they used to receive from you to that. Whatever that is. Now, I'm telling you, they feel so it's a bird. It's a bird dent. Look, the song that's playing is Love Sosa. Because you love so and so. You love doing that. You love expressing that. It's a problem to somebody. You know what we're talking about? Look, look, because you doing something new. You expressing, you investing your time. You know what we're talking about. Put your foot. 